Good evening. I welcome you tonight to our Good Friday service. And I am Pastor Jeannie Sortland. I serve the congregations of the Kensal United Methodist Church and the St. John's United Methodist Church in Wimbledon. So I welcome all of those faithful members and guests, as well as anyone else who has decided to join us this evening. And I should give a word of thanks for the musicians this evening, Roger Nadine Florhaug, Ross Florhaug, and also the scripture readers, Ross Florhaug, Allie Carpenter, Darren Ekron, Marge Gazzetti. And I'd also like to thank my family for their support as they have helped me work from home these last few weeks. On this Good Friday, we gather to remember Jesus' sacrifice of love. We are grateful for the gift of music and for its ability to prepare our hearts and minds to worship. Today, may the sacrifice of the cross take on new meaning as we sacrifice togetherness to care for one another. No matter where we find ourselves on this day, may we give thanks to Jesus for Jesus' love for each and every one of us as we come face to face with the cross of Christ. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, take me along that holy way you once took to your death. Take my mind, my memory, above all, my reluctant heart, 
And let me see how, through your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Amen. As we listen to the scripture proclaimed, may we imagine the scene. Our journey this evening takes us through the 27th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, beginning with Matthew 27 verses 1 through 2 and 11 through 26. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus in order to bring about his death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they make against you? But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called the Messiah? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that innocent man, for today I have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? All of them said, Let him be crucified. Then he asked, What evil has he done? They shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, rather that a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Then the people as a whole answered, His blood be on us and on our children. So he released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified.
Matthew chapter 27, verses 27 through 31. The soldier of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat on him, and they took his reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. They led him away to crucify him. gave Jesus mixed wine with bitter gall. But when he had tasted it, he refused to drink it. After they had nailed him to the cross, the soldiers gambled for his clothes by throwing dice. Then they sat around and kept guard as he hung there. A sign was fastened above Jesus' head, announcing the charge against him. It read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. reading is taken from Matthew chapter 27 verses 45 through 50. From noon on darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon and about three o'clock Jesus cried with a loud voice Eli Eli lemma sabach thine eye that is my God my God why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it they said, This man is calling for Elijah. At once one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it for him to drink. But the others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. Thank you. 
Matthew, chapter 27, verses 57 through 60. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea, named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Lord Jesus, in praise we offer you our lives, for by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. May we go forth, carrying the cross of Christ, to bless the world with the same mercy and grace we have so abundantly received. Amen. <laughs>